All right, number three, should apologists uh, engage in philosophical defense of the Christian faith. Now, this might sound odd because we're saying, well, I thought, apo you know, apologetics was all about philosophy, right? <laughs> but there, as we will see later on, there are some, uh, you know, uh, approaches that dismiss uh, uh, philosophy with regard to arguing for, for God. And so what does the evidentialist do with regard to philosophy and the philosophical defense of the Christian faith? Well, evidentialists view philosophy as a crucial tool for understanding the implications of the sciences and matters beyond the sciences' direct uh, competency. For example, while the sciences cannot examine God, they can examine the world he created and infer his existence from the evidence uh, in the world, right? And thus, uh, evidentialists then do use philosophy, but primarily as a means of clarifying concepts and analyzing the methods and reasoning used in discussing matters of theological significance uh, in the light of natural science and uh, human uh, history. So yes, they do use it, but they use it uh, you know, to analyze, clarify, and that sort of thing. Right. And this isn't something that's unheard of in science. In science, uh, uh, th think about dark matter. If you know anything about the concept of dark matter, the, the um, uh, gravitational pull on all the properties within the universe seems to be really small from the observable mass that's, that's uh, kind of seen and known. And so scientists have come up with this uh, kind of uh, rescuing device that's a a uh, uh, entity of, of, of ether out there that says, well, there must be something, some sort of dark matter that you can't see that uh, that has this uh, uh, quantifiable mass to it, but we just aren't uh, able to be aware of it with our known kind of concepts of science. And so there they're saying, hey, uh, from, from our known perspective, here's the things we know. And from there, we can conclude then that there's this kind of unknown entity uh, uh, collection of mass that uh, is out there and we just can't observe it uh, with our tools or uh, the, the, the way the, 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 un the, the universe is, is uh, so big. And so uh, th there's, there's, there's a, uh, a uh, correlation uh, between what's kind of known and, uh, and then observed and then the implication uh, of it, which is this uh, unknown uh, collection of particles or whatever it might be, the, the, the dark matter out there. And so that's what our evidentialists are doing is they're saying, well, if we can't observe God directly as far as like, here he is and let's cut off his toenail and put it <laughs> under a microscope, here's the influence that he has in the universe. And so we're going to be able to look at that, that point to uh, who he is. Hmm. So just like dark matter, that, uh, that, that was as convoluted as dark matter is. So if science can do it, so can I. That's right. <laughs> well, the fourth one has to do with science. Well, can science be used to defend the Christian faith? Of the four apologetic approaches, evidentialism makes the most positive use of science. While evidentialists do not accept all uh, conventional scientific theories uncritically, they tend to be more confident in their use of scientific information and theories to support theistic conclusions than other approaches. Uh, the, the, these are the ones that um, uh, tend to, to critique maybe the, um, the theory of evolution and and while they might not be young earth creationists yet uh they will uh, point to the the very fact that uh, with, without a uh, common designer or a first cause uh, being greater than the universe or uh, uh, the, the uh, a, a mind in order to uh, imbue DNA with information that passes along information like we see all of their sources of information having a source that is also information um, th th they're ones to to utilize those same methods kind of against the the, the non-believing uh, uh, scientist or, or or those who are uh, non-believers, but still hold to the ability to know things in in the universe uh, via the scientific method. Okay. 